Good morning students. Hope everyone is fine. And enjoying good health. I welcome you all. In e-learning class. Hope everyone is enjoying e-learning classes. Today we will start new chapter 11. Microbes and diseases, dear students. Today the learning objectives are. To understand. What are microbes? Different types of microbes. Bacteria. Viruses. Microscopic fungi. Useful microbes, dear students. First of all. We will discuss microbes. What are microbes? Microbes or microorganisms are microscopic living organisms. These are very tiny living things. That can be seen with a microscope, dear students. Microorganisms are present all around us. But they are too small to be seen with the naked eye. They are present everywhere in the atmosphere. Air. Water. And soil. There are millions and millions of them. In the air around you, dear students. Microorganisms are present all around us. But they are too small to be seen with the naked eye. They are present everywhere in the atmosphere. Air. Water. And soil. There are millions and millions of them. In the air around you, dear students, in this slide, I will give you the different types of microbes present around us. There are three types of microbes bacteria, viruses, fungi. In this slide, I am telling you about some disease causing microbes. These include bacteria, virus, protozoa, and fungi. Now, students, first of all, we will discuss bacteria. Bacteria. For example, Salmonella. And Streptococcus. Size of the bacterium is about 0.001 mm. Shape of bacteria can be spherical, rod shaped, or comma shaped. Structure of bacteria are single called organism, which does not completely have a nucleus. Some cause disease, but many are useful. The information needed to control the cell is carried on a single thread of DNA. Reproduction Bacteria reproduce very quickly. In the right condition, they can reproduce very quickly about once every 20 minutes. Two can very quickly become four, then eight, and then so on. Now, students, first of all, we will discuss bacteria. Bacteria. For example, Salmonella. And Streptococcus. Size of the bacterium is about 0.001 mm. Shape of bacteria can be spherical, rod shape, or comma shaped. Structure of bacteria are single called organism, which does not completely have a nucleus. Some cause disease but many are useful. The information needed to control the cell is carried on a single thread of DNA. Reproduction Bacteria reproduce very quickly. In the right condition, they can reproduce very quickly about once every 20 minutes. Two can very quickly become four then eight and then so on. Viruses Viruses for example. Flu virus and HIV means AIDS virus. Shape. Virus have regular and geometric shapes. Structure. A virus is a simple organism, which does not display all the characteristic of living things. Viruses are much smaller than bacteria. They are about 100 times smaller than bacteria. So they cannot be seen under an ordinary microscope. Viruses are not cells. They are made up of protein coating and some genetic material. Reproduction Viruses can only grow and reproduce within other living things. They take over a cell and make it produce more viruses, dear students. Now we are discussing about microscopic fungi. 
fungi for example. Penicillium and yeast. Size. Some fungi can be seen with the naked eye. Others are slightly bigger than bacterial cells. Shapes. Fungi come in many different shapes. Structure. Fungi have the most complex structures of all microbes. They feed off other living things, now. Students. We will discuss the types of fungi. These include yeasts and molds. Yeast. Yeast cells seen under a microscope. Look like tiny balls. They reproduce by growing butts on the side. When the butts are big enough, they drop off. In this slide, we will discuss molds. Molds grow in warm, damp places. They are made up of lots of thin threads, which grow over and inside the food. Molds feed on dead things. They reproduce by releasing spores into the air. Now, students, we will study about some useful microbes. Many microbes feed on the remains of dead animals and plants, which decompose the food into liquid, on which they then feed. Microbes which makes things rot are called decomposers. Decomposers are important because they get rid of dead animals and plants and turn them into useful chemicals in the soil. Dear students, in this slide I will tell you about decomposers. What are decomposers? These are vital components of the nutrient cycle. An organism, often a bacterium or fungus that feeds on and breaks down dead plant or animal matter, thus making organic nutrients available to the ecosystem. Different kinds of decomposers are organisms that break down dead or decaying organisms and in doing so carry out the natural process of decomposition. Examples Fungi Bacteria Worms Now students, how decomposers decomposes dead things. A fungus releases enzymes on dead remains. The enzymes digest the dead matter and make it soluble. The soluble products are taken up by the fungus. Dear students, your homework is complete the worksheet in the notebook. Review the lecture thoroughly. Thanks for listening.